All right, let's get right into it. Google has just launched something that is seriously going to change how we all find information online. We are talking about their new AI mode, and it's this free tool that isn't just an update, it's a complete rethink of what search even is. And you know what? That is not an exaggeration. This quote right here, it perfectly captures just how big of a deal this is. This isn't just another new feature. We're talking about a fundamental shift in how we interact with the entire internet. So, let's be super clear about one thing right from the start. This is not Google's answer to ChatGPT. It's not just another AI you can chat with. This is totally different. It's something that's baked right into the very core of how we already look for things every single day. Okay, so what is it exactly? Well, at its heart, AI mode is running on Google's powerful Gemini model. But the real secret sauce, the thing that makes it a game changer, is its connection to live, real-time web data. It's not pulling answers from some static library of info that's months old. It's using the internet as it exists, like right this second. Let's just put this side by side for a second. Think about it. ChatGPT often relies on data that's already out of date. AI mode? It's live. For the best version of ChatGPT, you gotta pay. AI mode is totally free. But the biggest difference? You don't have to go open a separate app. It is built directly into the Google search bar and the Chrome browser that you're probably already using. So what does this actually let you do? Well, we're talking about some pretty incredible new abilities here. And these aren't just small tweaks. These are features that honestly feel like they're straight out of a sci-fi movie. I mean, the list of what it can do is kind of insane. You can upload a 50-page PDF and have it analyzed in seconds. You can summarize entire web pages instantly, or even get AI answers right there in your address bar before you even hit enter. But the one that really feels like magic is Search Live. Okay, check this out. With Search Live, you can literally point your phone's camera at a tricky math problem in your kid's textbook. The AI sees the equation through your camera and then breaks it down for you step-by-step step right there on the screen. And that's not some concept. That's a real thing you can do right now. And speaking of right now, this isn't some technology that's years away. Just look at how fast this is happening. It went from a tiny invite-only experiment to being available in over 180 countries in just a few months. Google is moving at lightning speed to get this into everyone's hands. So that brings us to the really important question, right? We've seen what it can do, but what does it all actually mean? Why is baking AI directly into search such a massive, massive deal? Well, because the ripple effects from this are going to be felt by literally everyone. It's gonna change how students do their homework, how all of us shop for things, and how businesses even try to reach us. The impact here is just so broad. For students, you can upload your lecture notes and get an instant study guide. For consumers, you can search for, say, a new pair of sneakers and get real-time prices, reviews, and what's in stock from all over the web, all in one neat little box. Professionals can summarize 100-page reports in seconds. The list just goes on and on. And that reality leads to this pretty stark prediction. I mean, think about it. If the AI can instantly collect and show you everything you need to compare flights or hotels, why on earth would you bother clicking through 10 different websites anymore? Entire industries are about to be seriously challenged. Which, of course, brings us to the elephant in the room for anyone who runs a business or creates content online. SEO, search engine optimization. If people are getting their answers directly from the AI, how do you ever get seen? And let's be real, the old playbook is getting thrown out the window. Everything we thought we knew about how to get found on Google for the last 20 years, it's all changing and it's changing fast. Just having a website is no longer gonna cut it. But it's not hopeless. There is a new way forward. If you want the AI to feature your content, it has to be super authoritative and really, really well-structured. That means using clear formatting like lists and tables. For local shops, your Google business profile has to be perfect. And for videos, transcripts and timestamps are now absolutely critical. Basically, you have to make it incredibly easy for the AI to understand and most importantly, trust your information. Okay, so you've seen what it can do. You've seen why it matters. Now, let's get to the good stuff. How you can actually start playing with this thing yourself, right now. It's actually ridiculously easy. On the Google homepage, just look for this little beaker icon. That's for Search Labs. You click that, and right there, you'll see the option to opt in to the AI mode experiment. It takes like three clicks. It's totally free. But a quick heads up before you jump in. There are a few things you gotta watch out for. First, like any AI, it can hallucinate, which is a fancy way of saying it can just make stuff up. 
so always, always double check important facts. Second, it doesn't always tell you where it got its information. And finally, just remember, your search history, the stuff you upload, it all helps train the AI. So just be mindful of your privacy. To really wrap your head around just how massive this change is, just look at this number. Google handles around 8 billion searches every single day. If even a tiny fraction of those become AI-powered conversations instead of just clicks on links, we are talking about a change to how we access information on a scale we have just never seen before. And that really is the question we're left with, isn't it? We are shifting from a web of links and pages to a web of answers and conversations. So what does that mean for creators, for businesses, for the very idea of information itself? The revolution isn't coming, it's already here.